My name is Trisha Lockwood. I reside in Island, New Jersey. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I can do this. I'm not functional. No, I haven't been to sleep yet. No, I haven't brushed my hair yet. It's actually night time. I know from yesterday, last night. I don't really know. Um, so, um, no, I'm not suffering from insomnia either. I just have things in my mind. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to record this real quick uh, to make a record of it. And um, this is from September 5th, 2018. And... Uh, <clears throat> So I shared a video. Um, they're, they're, they're refusing me, making making sure they make every effort to uh, refuse me um, correcting their videos. They even hacked my computer, deleted. I'm sorry. Jeez. Deleted. Um. Um. They deleted a lot of things off into my co out of my comments. Um. Uh. They were they went into my um. My, uh, the Raymond Church, Von uh, Nazarene, Raymond Church, William Clay, um, uh, Calvary Chapel, and the Violent Police Department, Pentecostals, and, you know, all kinds of, um, uh, corrupt people in their police department persecuting me for, uh, many years, so, um, the thing is, is, I mean, they, they made another channel, and I sit there, and, uh, I recorded on my own, on my own video, uh, their thing, and they deleted my my videos that I made and recording them and correcting them, and they deleted them out of my account. They hacked my account and basically deleted my videos out of my account as soon as I uploaded them. Well, I checked them, started like reviewing it, looked at it, and they deleted them. Just like, they were not taken down by YouTube. They deleted them. They were deleted out of my account. So, um, yeah, the Vaughn Police Department is trying to cover up the heinous crimes, hate crimes they committed against me and my children, by the way. They're still covering it up or whatever, but I corrected his video. But the thing is, is because I had this open for a day or two, the video went out. So what I want to do is I'm going to record this first. And uh, it's basically um, correcting them. Um, and they're making up lies about the Holy Spirit. And... Um, they're claiming that the Holy Spirit is sitting next to you. Now, the thing is, they say things in opposition sometimes, what they believe, which is basically still lies. It's, it's, the, the lie is the lie. is the, They're still saying in the Holy Spirit. No matter what, what, I mean, it's just ridiculous what they do. But I'm just going to record this real quick. Uh, so, oh, let me see if I get it all on there. Okay. Uh, all right. So, um. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to play it. Um Yeah, so um the thing is this is really strange because it just came out. Okay, um because they're taking my teachings about relation. I actually not too long ago um said it again and they try to copy some of my words from it. Um, because I, for years I've been relating to basically that of churches that form together in the same relation to gangs. And it has nothing to do, like their uh, unity has nothing really to do with, um, basically because they are believers in God or Christ or what have you. Um, so that we, we, we are uh, pulled together like naturally. Now the thing is, I they were he constantly rants off about like relationship, and I made a statement. I was like, we're all in a relationship, <laughs> okay. And so they're copying that, and um, I'm actually going to go. Um, so I don't know if I can refresh this because I didn't even know because they're hacking my computer, so they know what I'm viewing. Um, all right, let me go to this date. Okay. I don't know how muffled this is. Oh. Okay, so, you know, I spoke against their vision. Their vision isn't of God. They pers they're persecuting me. And they're speaking a lot of things against what the, the, like what the, they did. I mean, they're all hi hypocrites. I don't know why. I don't have a... Um, this doesn't make any sense to me.
Like it doesn't even have a fast forward. What's going on? I can't fast forward this. Hold on, let me just try to share it. Oops. Shoot. Yeah, this is will be filled with God's love. He has a picture of the same scars that are on my arm. It's like sickening. It's like repulsively sickening. All right, hold on. I have to put this on um, private. Journey within the safe place. It's a little mockery in his um statement. It's not a mockery. It's like a... It's a mockery, but it's not exactly like a... Something that's funny. Mockery. Like making fun of something. But it's very, very terrible. Um, Without your presence, that's right. There's something I wanted to record, but I don't know if I'm going to get it because I had to stop this. So he goes about unity and unity. He's persecuting me. Thanks. They were united as they worshiped at the temple day after day. United, unity, unified. Many people think and think that to be that everybody was in agreement. They're a click. That's all they are. <laughs> They're isolating people out of uh, out of community. Here yeah, they can control. To everybody who feeds his like narcissistic ego. He basically does this, right? And he puts words related to me in this and it's almost like he's angry because I stayed separate from him like he's angry that I mean I talk to people I even told him I'm like I don't want to talk to you in person all right and I emailed him because there had to be a separation is it I don't really believe that he actually knew all the things that were going on. I believe he believed lies that he was being told by those who were persecuting me, bullying me, harassing me, and slandering me. And it was like he was judging like what they said, and then he was like copying my words. Um, yeah, by, uh, of the of the the spirit of God, um, and taking a lot of things from me. But I had another false minister, Lee King, who were copying my words also that I corrected him on. And the thing is, I had this, I'm sitting there looking at a lot of things that are going on in reflection of the same thing that's happened in the violent police department. And this is there, and I'm trying to, like, there's these views where it was just like, what is happening with Pentecostals doing the same thing? Like, they're stealing my words from me, right? Copying my words that they're stealing from me. Now, he's doing the same thing. He's doing it differently now than he did before, right? But they're doing the same thing while they're stealing from me, deleting stuff from me, doing all kinds of things, harassing me, repeating my words, and then attacking me and slandering me for what other people claim, uh, with their lies, or, um, um, other things, so, I get a lot of pain and suffering from this person, like, I get triggered and traumatized, and it's actually very physically painful, 
because of the interaction with that. Right? Um, this is the thing. What I did... Now, this is the thing. They isolated me. I isolated myself in a different way than they did. They were slandering me, trying to isolate me. I was doing another thing differently, where it was just like I was... Uh, I don't know how to say this. Arranging like a separation in different things and uniting in different ways, right? Um, and I knew because of the slanders and how they cling to other people, even before him, even before he came there, and they try to cling to like maybe the most popular or the most reverend, if you would, or whatever, and they would cling on to each other. They were isolated, and I was always attacked a lot. And there was like this thing where it was just like, if they were if you're like being exposed or what have you, they would slander me or what have you, and like quickly run to people and get them to like cling to them or something. I never do that. I don't do that at all. You know, I my I try to like spread in, you know, just talk to everybody mutually, what have you. So when he came, I didn't connect with the um the pastor before them, right? Um, I mainly went to the classes, and I mainly communicated with, well, those who are abusing me, the false pastor, Don Reed, Lee King, uh, well, minister, and uh, Sam Piero, and their classes, and I got along with some people, and then people would, like, change their attitude after I was attacked by Sam Piero. So he slandered me, and I've heard a number of the things that he said. He said it in the same room, and like after class or what have you. Told people to stay away from me and all these other things. But the thing is, they were slandering me, right? So me even communicating with this guy directly was da more dangerous for me, right? So I went out and running Pastor Don Reed, and it switched over to him. Because it was like, she said some disturbing things that made me question things and mess with my head. But it got worse in time. And she was messing with my hands and she was doing like really crazy things. Like she was like harassing me, doing like saying these things or whatever that I, I mean, I don't remember specifically. And I'm just like... You know, I didn't know what was going on. Like, the abuse altered when he came in, right? So, I mean, it took a little while, you know. And, I mean, I liked a lot of things he said in the beginning. Like, he talked about family. I remember that. Um, actually, no, I think it came in there before that, I think. And, like, and I even said it. I'm like, he changed. Now, I'm not saying I was in agreement with a lot of things he said. Right? I don't remember a lot of it. Um, and there, but there was a lot of unique, interesting things when I was like, I'm questioning things. Okay, and then they attacked me and my children. Well, they attacked my children a couple times before that, is when I left. Um, so, it was like he gets, he does these things where he's trying, it's like he. Uh, he can sit there and talk about people isolating. Now, people, there was isolation by a lot of people. You understand? There's different types of isolation by the people in the church. Now, some came and went, you know. Um, so, it wasn't always the same people. But, this is where I get, um, there's a unity and division in everything you do or say. Right? It's just something I observed. Um, because they were talking about, oh, actually, I was being slandered, and why they were slandering me, so there, she's trying to cause a division. And then that was you actually call, trying to cause division, slandering me, trying to isolate me. But, you know, I looked at it from, like, a different point of view. Right? I'm sitting there and observing me. I didn't ever say it. But, um, I'm just observing all these principles that are taking play, and what was going, being attacked, being abused. And these, and how, you know, just sit back and just, like, observe and trying to understand people and all these things. And that's what I did. You know, I was just, like, wondering why they were doing this. And I kept asking that, well, why are you doing this? 
It was just something I did. I got past that, believe me. After they attacked my children, I, I got past all that. I mean, I still do that every once in a while. I guess on some things or whatever. But I respond differently now. So, um... Trying to figure out what's going on and these things that are taking place and the conflict that was going on is where I get just observing and where I get my statement. There's a unity and division in everything that we do or say. Right? Because while they were sitting there accusing me of bringing division, I was just like, okay, I'm thinking to myself. And Jesus, you know, said he did not recuse to bring peace, but a sword one against another. Okay, and I'm summing, I'm summing that up. Of course, they attacked my children, destroyed my children, and then try to use that and claim, oh, you know, Jesus brings division. Uh, you know, um, and it's like, no, no, you're attacking my children. Jesus wasn't destroying people. You're attacking my little children, like eight, nine, ten years old. That had nothing to do with it. Truth will divide people. Just like lies will divide people. Okay? And the thing is, because some will cling to evil, and some will cling to good, and it's going to separate. Okay? That's what's going to happen. Apparently, they didn't understand the scripture, they didn't understand the things of Jesus, but they did basically divide in an evil way. Okay? That had nothing to do with Christ. And destroyed my family... Well, they, com they committed evil acts against me. So, it's really strange when um, I keep listening to him and he keeps be abusively attacking the same thing over and over and over. How I was isolating the church. Even though he did, he used a lot of people, puppeted a lot of people, and did a lot of things to isolate me in different ways. He did this. Excuse me, I got an itch. So. It's really strange listening to him when he's sitting there trying to attack people. Like, he does things to people and, like, attacks people for it. Like, you're going to do that to people and then you're going to attack them for it. So, I've seen this play out on a lot of principles. Um... Throughout the years with different types of people, even police, even watching police videos, you know, sit there and listen to them and watch them and, and it's like, that's, that's what they did to me. You know, it's just like, they would sit there and attack you and then like, accuse you while they're sitting there controlling what you do in different situations. There's like, so there's different pr principles playing out. So they can accuse you for it. And this is what is coming from him, an ex-cop. Okay, so... The thing is, this is, like I said, like, the thing is, is, like, where all these things are, I, I want to, um, this, 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 the, these law principles start raising up in me that basically, um, uh, leveled, I don't know how to explain it, I leveled everything out, I don't know, I don't know if that's the right word, but an example, you know, where it's just like, there's division and unity in everything we do, you know, and that came from the Holy Spirit to... Um, go above everything that was being said and done and happening and being controlled. Okay? So, the thing is, they use me for basically wisdom that comes out of me. They cause me suffering and torture. Which is actually a Catholic practice, but in different ways. The Catholics practice, you know, that, you know, they brainwash all kinds of people to extract knowledge from people, selecting different people when they didn't have it, and doing all these things and brainwashing people to, like, you know, cause uh, physical, bodily um, suffering to themselves. Falsely claiming it's suffering of Christ when it isn't. It's, like, very vain, you know. Um, but that's not, you know, that's, that has nothing to do with the self and what you do. Um, abusing yourself. That's really crazy. Um, so, the thing is, I know he has knowledge of it because a lot of practice, I don't know if he does it like consciously or unconsciously sometimes. Sometimes he does. He abuses me and causes us suffering, right? And so he knows he's basically birthing out um, this was knowledge. He keeps stealing from me. He keeps doing it all these years, but the thing is, it's just like 
this whole thing, he, he keeps blaming and describing me being there. After they excommunicated me and kicked me out and he still stalked me after that. Doing all these things, harassed me with all his things and conditionings that he had. And I'm not talk, speaking against conditions either. But things that he has is in his mind, how things should be or whatever. Like trying to control a situation has to punish me for whatever sadistic delusion has gone on in his own little head. The thing is, is that he keeps describing me in this church over and over and over. And he is either... It's really creepy both ways. It, it's, it's evil both ways. But he is either describing me in like a Christ-likeness. Or he is making up all these rules to repeatedly me being there. And describing my life over and over and over and expressing this anger this very strange odd evil anger over and over and over throughout years like it was like an offense to him that like like hit him deep in regards to me not communing with him and separating myself this is because I know people, it wasn't even only him. And it was because all these people were carnal. And it was because I was being abused. The thing is, did he see all of the abuses of all these people they were doing? He was partaking in it. But it seemed like offensive since everybody like treated him like he was like God. And I would not. And he keeps going throughout time. Oh, this is from... from uh, 2018. I just recorded. Right? Just make sure I get the date in there. But he's been going out throughout the years like this. And I sit there and looked at other videos. But it was just like... Um... Different things. It was just like, I'm of God. I'm not of God. I'm of God. I'm not of God. Like he's fighting with me. And there's this pain there. And there's this fight. And there's this issue of, re of me rejecting what he's doing. Right? Um, why he scapegoats me. Does all these things. Copies my words throughout the years. And he's still doing it. Over and over and over. Now he's doing it more and more and more. And it's different. And there's, it's connected to another... Uh, um, minister, Frank Apollo of Calvary Church, and they're sitting there and they're echoing words throughout their sermons more and more and more, and closer and closer and closer together, and going through all of my stuff more, so, and, uh, it, it's, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, end this, but it is, um, it's like he wants answers to something. I want answers to things that are that are unresolved, right? But he's sitting there trying to attack what he does not know. I've actually kept dealing with this. I actually just mentioned something very similar to that, um, but in, in an opposite or different direction, directed way, and different principle, but same, whatever. But there's this strange thing happening. And it's either what he wants to basically attack this thing that I, I don't I just don't I don't think he can get over the fact that I treated him differently and I would not exalt him. I would not praise him, I would not honor him. Okay, and it's just copy my words. It, like I see there's incomplete things about his mind of things that's throwing things off. And he seems like he's incomplete in trying to understand things. Um, but there was a lot of friction throughout years and pain and like a blown up fight that I did not start, by the way. I don't even think I started it with him. I think other people started it. Lee King, the. Uh, Don Reed, San Piero, and just like these other few, or whatever, and a couple of people got connected to it, 
I didn't have these problems with other people. I try to talk to people, get along with people, whatever. And I was being abused by the most popular ones, <laughs> which is basically like almost all my life since child. Um, so yeah, I've been yes isolated, called the lagging turtle, slow, whatever. Not slow as in slow, but you know, it's always dangled behind at the end of the line or what have you, very quiet. You know, whatever the case may be, but. I always had people laugh at me and, you know, do all these things. And I would barely do anything, you know, um, either try to control me. And if I, they couldn't control me, I, yes, that's kids. Kids try to control me. They do the same thing. Like, they haven't really changed. Like, they were bad kids as bad kids. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the person to basically sit there and say, like, kids are bad. Like, when you grew up, you look at a different perspective. But when I was a little kid... They were mean. <laughs> right? So I understood it. Um, so, you know, I encountered it different, you know. When I became an adult, like, all the kids loved me. So, yeah, they attacked my children. And this is there had to interfere with me and my children. Because it was just like, they just... They were just like one of those nonchalant parents. Everything was like jealousy with them. But the what's happening here is that it's just like... Pain fighting. Like, it is just... Um... Like, he knows a lot of things that he's doing. He don't even believe. Or is of God. I don't, I don't think he believes in God. Sometimes I think he mistakes um, himself for his claimed belief in God. So, I think he still questions that. A lot. I think that's why he probably takes a lot of things from me or what have you. Um, I'm not really sure. The thing is, is like there was no, there was no communication that was real, like between uh, me and him. And the thing is, I think there is a lot of like, look, reality is. Is that though? I think he's an insane madman, uh, very evil, and I consider myself good. Um, no, I never had to anybody tell me I was good in my entire life, but I never had anybody say I was bad. And people didn't get into that. He was discussing that. You're told you're good and bad, and I was like, no, it's not how it worked. I never heard many people like talk like that. You know, <laughs> like what does that mean? Um. So, I guess some are told, you know, you know, he encouraged, I mean, I've encouraged my kids and, you know, things like that and, you know, but, okay, well, I gotta end this because the cat's at the door, but, look, I'm talking to videos, he's not talking to people, most of the time that he's in this church, he's not. This is... It's not related to the people. Um... I gotta end this.